गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून और गुड इवनिंग डिपेंडिंग ऑन वेर यू आर आई होप यू ऑल आर हेल्दी टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस सोल्यूशन फॉर ए मल्टी क्लाउड बिजनेस प्रॉब्लम एंड द प्रॉब्लम इज हाउ कैन यू इंटीग्रेट योर ए डब्ल्यू एस एंड एज योर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर यस इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द वेज हाउ कैन यू इंटीग्रेट और कनेक्ट योर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन ए डब्ल्यू एस क्लाउड and your infrastructure in azure cloud we'll start with the use case why should you integrate aws cloud and azure cloud first we all know the options to connect your on premise data centers with azure cloud or with aws cloud environment today we are going to review the networking options how to integrate different cloud environments although we will discuss aws and as your integrations if you review this video without skipping any part you will be able to scale this solution to integrate any cloud or any multi cloud scenarios it could be aws with google cloud or azure with google cloud or azure with oracle both will work using the same networking topology before we discuss the use case i would like to request you if you are new to our channel or haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to our channel and please click on the bell icon to get notification for any new topics if you appreciate our effort please like this video your support will motivate us now let's review the use case let's assume this is your on premise data center in your use case your on premise can be spanned across multiple regions but if you understand this network topology you will be easily scale this networking architecture over multiple data centers your organization may be working in multiple cloud environment maybe you have some workload hosted in aws cloud and some in azure cloud maybe you have a saas application provider and that application provider is native to aws or maybe with azure and you have to transfer data between aws cloud and azure cloud environment you can definitely create a restful api and transfer the data between that cloud environment but that is not a portable option when you have a requirement to transfer gigabytes of data on a daily basis i hope this will give you a clear understanding about the use case or the business problem we are trying to resolve today as we have reviewed the use case let's see how can you integrate both the cloud environments and what are the pros versus cons for each approach integration option 1 you can use a vpn or ipsec tunnel to communicate your cloud environment if you observe this presentation in the left hand side we have azure cloud and in the right hand side we have aws cloud now to start with let's consider you have only one vpc in both the clouds for aws you can create a virtual private gateway or vpg it's a vpc attachment and that will help you to terminate any ipsec tunnel in your vpc similarly on the azure end you can configure a azure vpn gateway now once you have configured azure vpn gateway and virtual private gateway in aws cloud then you can establish a ipsec tunnel between both the devices in azure cloud and aws cloud by this way you are getting a private encrypted connection although this is not dedicated for you but it is private and encrypted connection between your aws cloud and azure cloud environment but in reality you might have more than one vpcs maybe you are working in more than one regions if you are working in one region with multiple vpc now let's review how can you connect multiple vpcs in this connection topology we can use aws transit gateway instead of virtual private gateway A virtual private gateway was useful if you have a single vpc but if you have more than one vpc in that case aws transit gateway will help you to integrate multiple vpcs in a hub and spoke model on the same time you can terminate the ipsec tunnel into transit gateway 
Now using transit gateway, you are using the IPsec tunnel and on the same time, you are connecting multiple VPCs in one region. One point you have to remember, transit gateway is a regional device. If you have a requirement to integrate multiple region, then you need to provision transit gateway in each region or separate transit gateway in each region, then you can create a transit gateway pairing connection between the regions. Next, we'll review what are the pros and what are the cons in this approach. First, this is quick and easy way to set up. Creating an IPsec tunnel will take sometimes between four to six hours. If I will consider both the cloud providers, so you can establish the IPsec tunnel within a one business day. Next, pay as you use model. To set up an IPsec tunnel, you do not need a good amount of capex. Second, you are only paying how much data you are transferring between the IPsec tunnel. If you are not using, you are paying a minimal fee to establish that connection and you are paying the amount of data you are transferring between the cloud environment. Now, what are the cons? First, limited throughput. Since IPsec tunnel has a capacity limitation, if you have a requirement for a higher bandwidth, you can configure multiple IPsec tunnels and you can accumulate the bandwidth or you can sum up the bandwidth using multiple VPN or multiple IPsec tunnels. Next, unpredictable throughput. You have to understand IPsec tunnel uses internet connectivity. So the speed will depend on your internet connectivity and also the number of hops in between the two data centers of the cloud providers. Now, since it is using public internet, you will not get any predictable throughput and your connection speed will depend on the internet provider or ISP provider you are using. Next is AWS and Azure data transfer fee. Cloud providers allow you to bring the data into cloud with free of charge. That is any inbound data transfer is free. But all the cloud provider charges for outbound data transfer. That means if you are taking out any data from this cloud region or from your environment to internet, they are charging you. Even cloud provider charges if you are transferring data between two different regions. So you have to understand that there is a data transfer fee from both AWS and Azure side if you are using a IPsec tunnel. Now let's see what is the options if I want to overcome these cons or if I want a predictable throughput or if I want more bandwidth, how can I integrate these cloud providers? In this diagram, we'll talk about integration option two, where we'll review a private dedicated connection between your data center and the two cloud providers. Now in this diagram, on the left hand side, I have Azure cloud. On the right hand side, I have AWS cloud. And on the south side of the diagram, we have the customer data center or your data center. Now, as you know, AWS provides direct connect and direct connect is the optical fiber connection or the physical connection between your data center and AWS data center. Similarly, Azure provides express route, same concept, dedicated optical fiber connection between Azure cloud and your data center. Now to integrate the cloud provider data center with your data center, you need to communicate with the direct connect location or express route location. Now if I will take one cloud provider at a time, if I will review the left hand side of the diagram, let's say first you have to identify a Azure express route location. The process is same in both the cloud provider, you will request the physical connection, you will get a letter of authorization then you will identify the express route location from Azure point of view and you will create if and you will establish a physical connectivity between the Azure express route location and your data center or customer router. 
once you have established the physical connection next you have to establish the logical connection between the express route location to your virtual network in azure site on the other hand if i review the right hand side of the diagram the process is same you will request the direct connect in aws console they will give a letter of authorization you will take that letter of authorization to a direct connect location there will be one aws router waiting for you you will establish the physical connection between the aws router and your router once the physical connection is established then you can work on the logical connection part to integrate direct connect location with your aws cloud now since we discussed in the previous diagram you might have multiple vpcs that is why you are using aws transit gateway in this topology now in this connection topology you have physical dedicated connection and you are using your customer data center as a via route and any traffic between your azure cloud and aws cloud will traverse via your data center and this is the path you can establish if you need a private dedicated connection or if you are transferring gigabytes of data maybe 100 gigabytes of data every day now let's review the pros and cons of this approach first this is a private dedicated connection you are not using internet here that is why you will always get the predictable throughput now both express route and direct connect allows you to select the bandwidth it could be 1 gbps it could be 10 gbps it could be 100 gbps based on your requirement you can select the connection the third is no internet dependency in our previous approach when we used ipsec tunnel it was totally dependent on your isp provider but for direct connect since this is a physical connection there is no internet dependency next we will see the cons there is additional capital expenditure or capex is required to set up if you do not have a customer router that is available which can support this express route or direct connect you have to purchase that router next not scalable for additional bandwidth first of all unlike vpn or ipsec channel you cannot set up in a day you need at least four to six weeks sometime it will take additional days to set up both the connection if you work or if you initiate with both the cloud provider in a best case scenario you will be able to establish in four to six weeks so that is not a day effort now let's say you have provision for one gbps connection and if in future the more data transfer requirement you have or you want to transfer more data you have to create a new connection you cannot expand this connection or you cannot change the bandwidth if you have provision for one gbps connection if you want to go for 10 gbps then you have to terminate the existing connection create a new connection or you can keep the existing connection and you can set up a new connection and you can aggregate that bandwidth there so these are the two options next monthly fixed charges unlike ipsec tunnel there are charges associated from both the cloud provider point of view so you have to remember if you are not using then also you have to pay for the physical connectivity let's review a third option maybe you have a requirement for demand high availability maybe you are running some critical workload now you understand this in this approach since we are talking about physical connection there could be optical fiber cut there could be the customer router it could be faulty in those cases what you are going to do if your application cannot sustain a single minute of failure in that case you have to think for high available setup and then we can merge both the options and we can come up with a third option or a combined option that means we are talking about a combination of ipsec and a physical connection your physical connection can be worked as a primary route and you can make the ipsec tunnel as a backup route as i mentioned during discussing the integration option one if you are not transferring any data 
that time you are paying a small amount of fee to keep that IPsec tunnel alive. That would be a low cost solution for you if you want to achieve high available setup in your network topology. Now we came to a conclusion about today's topic. I hope I was able to clarify all your doubts. If you have any question regarding today's topic, please post your question as comment to this video. We will answer at earliest. Before we conclude today, I would like to request you please subscribe our channel and please click on the bell icon to get notification for new topics. If you want me to cover any topics, please provide your request as a comment on this video. If you appreciate our effort, please like this video. It will definitely motivate us. At the end, thank you. Please take care and stay safe.